What's going on? There's a goose right here. See that guy? I was walking up to it. He stood up. Sure enough, banded. Too bad it's not goose season, Cody. See you this fall, brother man. Welcome back to another episode. As you can tell, I'm with the man, the myth again today, Mr. John Lehman from Mindac Outdoors. If you guys are interested in checking out any of his content, I'll leave his link posted down below. We are gonna go on another adventure today on some inland water up here in north of northern Wisconsin to try and chase after some walleyes. Maybe even get some smallmouth? Maybe a couple smallies, but I think the biggest mission is finding a day bite for these walleyes. Hey. That's the biggest mission. The biggest mission is finding something during the day. Now, we, we did fish out here last night. Nice little fatty right there. Probably only like a 20-inch fish, but they are eating eating well. That's actually probably, she's probably still working on spawning. She's probably got a little bit left in her, but that is a gorgeous northern Wisconsin fish right there. That's why we came up here to chase after these gorgeous looking fish. Oh. Later, girl. Look at her. Hey, look at that. That thing is thick, bro. It's milking. See it milking? No way. Right in your boat. Yeah. Or, I mean, not milking, but like yeah. the eggs are coming eggs. out. Eggs. Let's go, dude. Nice fish, dude. You want a couple pictures? Hair shy of 25, but like all of six to eight pounds. Yeah, dude, that's you know? freaking fatty. Yeah. She's got to go do her thing, man. Nice fish, dude. <gasps> the water is huge, so dog. clear. Um, we caught quite a few decent sized fish and we want to try and replicate it during the day. Obviously we know walleyes are a low light fish. Uh, they become a little more active at night, they push up shallow, they start looking to feed and it can be a little easier to catch walleyes but getting them during the day can sometimes be a chore and that's what we're going to try and accomplish today. So it's going to be me and John. Uh, we also got our good buddy Nick from NB Edits up here too as well. He actually launched at a different location in his own boat. Um, he is with one of his buddies, Bridge, and yeah, we're gonna go uh, go out. We'll probably meet up with them and see what we can find out here today. So we got a couple of hours before I gotta actually head out of here, go home, back to Green Bay, and we're gonna see if we can find find some uh, walleyes to uh, munch. So stick with us, stay tuned. Hopefully today's a good day. Let's go find some fish. We just arrived to the first spot. John and I are gonna give. Uh, Give this spot a little bit of time here. Kind of getting wind blown into it right now, but kind of not. Uh, we found a couple other spots kind of where we launched that we think might be fire. Um, but historically, this spot here that we're fishing has been really good for us in the past. So we're gonna try this first, probably for only like 30 minutes. If we don't get nothing, we're gonna shoot back across the lake kind of to where we launched and try some of the wind blown points over there. Just a little more high percentage areas with rocks, uh, gravel, any sand or rock transition, stuff like that is kind of what we're looking for. But. Hopefully we can find some fish. Oh, 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 that's a walleye. He's going towards you. He's right on you. There's two on you, dude. Look. Dude. I watched him swipe at it. Like, I watched I watched him on live scope. Oh, dude, that was so I watched sick. I watched two of them follow you on live scope and then eat. Well, and then I watched him actually eat it in the water. <laughs> that's badass. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> and that's why live scope is awesome. <laughs> Right there, perfect example. Yeah, like I wouldn't have known. No, that was freaking badass, dude. I just happened to turn the live scope towards you, yeah. and I seen two chasing. I'm like, oh no way. Number three for me. Look how gold that is, man. Yeah, that's just pretty. Like, such a cool looking fish. It is really pretty. Hmm. Right on, brother. Hey, let's get that fish back in the water. All right, so today we are ripping with the Garmin Live Scope, and I just want to show you guys how we're actually using this. We're on a really steep break right now uh, on a shoreline on this lake, and all we're doing is we got the boat kind of perpendicular to the shoreline, and we're just scanning that shoreline. As you can tell, we're in 12 feet of water right now, uh, which is relatively deep compared to what it is up on that shoreline. Uh, we got a ton of rocks across the shoreline and it actually gets up to like a foot of water real real up tight there underneath those trees and all we're doing is shooting this live scope beam up uh, onto those rocks looking for fish that are just kind of bedding laying in those rocks just sitting there sunning themselves today and we're actually able to pick them off using forward facing sonar um, on this garmin live scope unit uh, we basically got this thing set up if we go into menu here um, sonar setup 
installation orientation, you can see we have that set to forward mode. Um, so what you've seen us use previously this spring has been the perspective mode. Uh, but I've noticed when you get this type of contour, it's a little easier to use that forward facing mode to be able to scan up into those rocks and look for fish. But if I go ahead and cast my jerk bait up here, so I'll cast it up onto those rocks. Um, if I get my live scope positioned correctly here, you'll actually be able to see that jerk bait kind of come into frame once I get it a little deeper here. There it is. So there you can see it at 30 feet, just start to make it out there. If I go ahead and jerk it, what will happen is these walleyes will come out of the rocks um, that are sitting on this break. It's a little tough to see, but you'll see those walleyes kind of raise out of those rocks, like this one right here. Oh, please, that would be perfect. Oh, he's coming. He just ate it. Oh, and I missed him. Bro. I missed him. He ate it right there. I literally saw him do it. So that right there is exactly what we're doing. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that one to uh, stay pinned there, but he hit it. He hit it probably not even 20 feet from the boat. Um, but that's exactly what we're doing up on these shorelines. We're just finding sharp breaks, those sand to gravel rock transitions. We're working this live scope all the way up and down the shoreline. This unit is one of the most insane fishing electronics you could probably ever own. Um, it's gonna eliminate dead water a lot faster and it's just gonna make fishing that much more enjoyable. Oh, he, he was, here he comes. He didn't, he didn't. Yep, he grabbed it. <laughs> no freaking way, dude. There, we got that one on film. <laughs> Picked it up. Literally watch him come up to the bait on live scope, look down in the water. Because this water's so clear up here, was able to watch him grab it. And I didn't set the hook until he grabbed it. There we go. Not an absolute tank, but he is bleeding a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this fish back in the water. But that right there is how you use Garmin live scope to catch yourself spring walleyes. Mm, let's get some more. Got that one. Just a little dude. Just a little dude, Jenny boy. Hooked up. It's a little healthy male there. You can tell he's still milking all over the place. And John is now hooked up. More doubles. Cheers, baby. Beat down. Cheers. Peace out. I don't know, some type of air sac in your stomach or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Pike. Bass. It freaking crushed it. <laughs> hey, it is a walleye. Nah. Just kind of came in weird. It do be a walleye. Let's go. It is another walleye for me today. All right, pal. Thanks for uh, showing up. There he goes. Man, that water is cold yet. Man, what a, a day it was today. Doing something different, getting on a, a different body of water for once, learning something new, and just kind of getting out of my comfort zone, getting away from what I'm used to and doing something different. And it was definitely a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go down, hit that subscribe button down below. Also leave me some comments down below if you guys fish a lot of inland waters and um, if you like inland waters or if you're more into the Great Lakes systems that we have here in Wisconsin. Either way, they're all a ton of fun to fish. Catching walleyes is a lot of fun and it's uh, definitely something that I can never say no to. So like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this one. As always, keep living your dream. We'll see you guys on the next episode.